Good evening and welcome to Armor of God Apologetics. Today I'd, I'd like to break uh, from our norm and just do a little short video just uh, to share something that God has really put on my heart. Today uh, the sports world lost uh, a legend, a great in Kobe Bryant. But today the world lost much more than just Kobe Bryant. And in fact, his daughter, 13 years old, also perished in the same crash as did at least one other uh, player on her team. And seeing as how this is the weekend before my daughter's 16th birthday, it just really made me stop and start to think and God just put on my heart that uh, really I think the world needs to remember not just Kobe, but to pray for his entire family for they lost not only him, but his daughter, as did the families of the other children that were involved in the, in the helicopter wreck that took their lives. So there's a couple of Bible verses that I want to share with you today. And the first one comes from the book of Mark, chapter 13. Now this is in regards to the end of the world, but it, it definitely applies here as well when we're talking about not knowing when someone is going to pass. The Bible reads in Mark 13, 32, but of that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven nor the son, but the father alone, take heed keep on alert for you do not know when the appointed time will come it is like a man away on a journey who upon leaving his house and putting his slaves in charge assigned to each one his task also commanded the doorkeeper to stay on alert therefore be on alert for you do not know when the master of the house is coming whether in the evening at midnight or when the rooster crows or in the morning in case we should come suddenly and find you asleep what I what I say to you I say to all be on alert. By command of Jesus Christ, we're to be on alert for the coming of the hour, the end of the time, but we're also to be on alert for the coming of when we are to pass away. And I just think about this because I think about when we lose opportunities to spend time with our children, to, to share the gospel with them so that they would understand the message of Jesus Christ. I hope and I pray that that young lady and, and the other children in that helicopter knew the Lord Jesus Christ and will spend all eternity in heaven with him. Jesus also says about children in Matthew 18, verses three through five and verses 10 through 14. Jesus says, truly I say to you, unless you are converted and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever then humbles himself is this child. He is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one such child in my name receives me. Moving on to verse 10. See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that their angels in heaven continuously see the face of my Father who is in heaven. For the Son of Man has come to save that which is lost. What do you think? If any man has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine on the mountains and go and search for that one that is straying. If it turns out that he finds it, truly I say to you, he rejoices over it more than over the 99, which have not gone astray. So it is not the will of your Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. And about the suffering of those who are mourning today for the deaths of those young people and for Kobe Bryant and everyone else, the Bible says in Hebrews 5, verses 14 through 16, Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in all things as we are, yet without sin. Therefore, let us draw near with confidence to the throne of grace, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in time of need, I pray that these families be shown mercy and grace and comfort by our Lord Jesus Christ in their time of need. And I say to all you parents out there, reach out to your loved ones, reach out to your children, tell them you love them. And Emma, if you're watching, I love you and happy birthday. God bless.